Greetings friends and my valued viewers welcome back to our YouTube channel preferably you are fine like before enormous news for dinar just dropped I by and large endeavor my best to give you the revived information so this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi dinar rates, hit become involved with stay informed and comment the concept of contract rates for the Iraqi dinar has been a significant topic of discussion among currency enthusiasts, investors and analysts for many years. To provide a comprehensive understanding, it is essential to delve into the details and clarify what these contract rates entailed, their historical context, and their current status. Contract rates were established through private agreements several years ago, during a period when there was considerable speculation and anticipation about the potential revaluation of the Iraqi dinar. These rates were not set through official exchange mechanisms or public market transactions but were instead part of private sales arranged under specific contractual terms. In essence, they were individualized contracts between buyers and sellers, where a fixed rate was agreed upon for purchasing the dinar. The primary motivation behind these contract rates was the belief that the Iraqi dinar might undergo a significant revaluation or reappraisal in the future. Investors and buyers were keen to secure currency at a predetermined rate, hoping that future economic reforms and political stabilization in Iraq would lead to a substantial increase in the dinar's value. The contract rates thus represented a speculative opportunity allowing buyers to lock in a price in anticipation of potential gains from future currency appreciation. However, it is crucial to understand that these contract rates were specific to a certain period and were executed under the terms agreed upon at that time. As the economic and political conditions in Iraq evolved, these contracts were fulfilled and subsequently closed. The dynamics of the currency market, changes in government policies, and global economic factors all contributed to the eventual conclusion of these contract rate agreements. Essentially, once the contracts were settled, the opportunity to engage in new contract rate agreements ceased. The cessation of contract rates means that there are no longer any active or available contract rates for private buyers. The market for such agreements has been closed for years and any discussion or speculation regarding new contract traits is not relevant to the current financial land escape. This finality is crucial for investors and individuals who might be seeking or hoping for such rates to re-emerge. The reality is that all contract rate transactions have been completed, and the mechanism of contract rates is a historical aspect of the dinar market. In contemporary terms, the focus has shifted away from contract rates to other aspects of the dinar's value and the broader economic conditions affecting Iraq. Current discussions and analyses are centered around the official exchange rates, economic reforms, and market conditions that influence the dinar's present and future value. The idea of new contract rates is no longer applicable or feasible, and any ongoing discussions should be grounded in the current realities of the currency market rather than outdated contract rate arrangements. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or need further clarification on any of these points, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Until next time, take care and stay informed.